Hello. Today we are going to talk about introduction to operation management. So what is operation management? In this video tutorial, we'll try to uncover the mysteries behind operation management. But before we start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Edward Chang and I am an MBA. You can follow me on Twitter and you can see this video to my YouTube channel. Learning objective. You should be able to define the terms operation management and supply chain, identify similarities and differences between production and services operation, explain the importance of learning about operations management, identify the three major function areas of operations and explain how they interrelate. You should be able to summarize the two major aspects of process management. Describe the operations function and the nature of operations manager's job. Explain the key aspects of operation management decision. Briefly describe the his historical evolution of operation management. Describe the current issues in business and impact operations management. Explain the need to manage the supply chain. This video will be part 1 of the video tutorial. So what is operation management? First, we need to know what is operation. So what is operation? Operation is a part of business organization that is responsible for producing, for producing goods and services. We can define operation management as the management of system or processes that create goods and services. Everything is handled by operation management. This illustration on the left you see two burgers and the background shows two bottles of coke and also a basket this is an example of goods on the right side you see two dentists performing a dental operation which is an example of services this is so how do we differentiate goods from services goods are physical items that include raw materials, parts, sub-assemblies, and final products. Examples of which are automobile, computer, oven, and shampoo. On the other hand, services are activities that provide some combination of time, location, form, or psychological value. Air travel, education, haircut, and legal counsel are some examples for services. In operation management, we will talk about supply chain. What is a supply chain? Supply chain is a sequence of activities and organizations involved in producing and delivering goods or services. Supply chain will include the chain of supplier suppliers, direct suppliers, producer, distributor, and the final destination will be the final customers or the final users. In this illustration, you will see the inputs which shows the resources like labor, land, and capital to undergo transformation into outputs of goods and services. Between inputs and goods, process give value-added activities. We will talk about feedback and control on the latter part of this topic. Manufacturing or services Manufacturing or services We can see the difference in the degree of customer contact, uniformity of input, labor content of jobs, uniformity of output, okay, measurement on productivity, production and delivery, quality assurance, the amount of inventory, and yes, you cannot store or store services, evaluation of work, okay, and the ability to patent. You cannot patent services. Why do we need to study operation management? Every aspect of business affects or is affected by operation management. Many services, the service jobs are closely related to operations like banking, janitorial services, and other um, things that you see every day. Why study operation management? Through learning about operations and supply chain, you will have a better understanding understanding of the world we live in, 
how things work. The global dependencies of companies and nations. The reason that companies succeed or fail. And the importance of working with others. Every organization has three major functions. These are marketing, that sells and distributes the products, finance, handle the money of the company, and the operation. Most often, functions overlap. For example, finance and operation, in budgeting, economic analysis of investment proposals, provision of funds, and a lot more. When it comes to marketing and operations, there is an overlap in demand data, product and services design, competitor analysis, and lead time data. These are the opportunities for OM and supply chain. You can be an operation manager, supply chain manager, production analyst, schedule coordinator, inventory manager, production manager, industrial engineer, purchasing manager, and quality manager. So there is a lot of opportunity for talented operations manager. Now we talk about process management. Process is one or more functions or actions that transform inputs into outputs. There are three categories of business processes. Upper management processes, these are the executives, this govern the operation of the entire organization. Number two will be organizational processes. These are the core processes that make the value stream. And supporting processes, these support the core processes of the organization. These are the workers and also the supervisors. Supply and demand. Supply and demand affects operation. operations and supply chain and one side will affect sales and marketing. Let's say for example, supply is greater than demand. There will be waste and cost. When supply is less than demand, opportunity loss and customer dis dissatisfaction will happen. The goal of operation manager is to balance both supply and demand to have an ideal situation. Process variation. Variability in process costs money. So these are the four sources of variation. Variety of goods or services being offered. The greater the variety of goods and services offered, the greater the variation in production or service requirement. Structural variation in demand. These are generally predictable. They are important or capacity planning or capacity planning. Assignable variation or variation that has identifiable sources. This type of variation can be reduced or eliminated by analysis and corrective action. Random variation, random variation is a natural variation that present. Random variation is a variation that is present in all policies. Generally, it cannot be influenced by managers. The scope of OM, the scope of operation management ranges across the organization. The organization's function includes many interrelated activities such as forecasting, managing inventories, capacity planning, assuring quality, facilities and layout, scheduling, deciding where to locate or locate facilities. Role of Operation Managers or OM The operations function consists of all activities directly related to producing goods and services or providing goods and services. A primary function of the operation manager is to guide the system by decision making, system design decision, system operation decision. System design decision. What is system design decision? System design will have, now we talk about system design decision. System design will have capacity, facility location, facility layout, product and service planning, acquisition and placement of equipment. These are typically strategic decisions that usually require long-term commitment or resources. Let's say for example, do you want to lease a land or buy a land from where you can put your or build your factory? You need to determine parameters of system operation. This concludes part 1.